All right, let's take a look here at output values, which are computed values after a Terraform apply is performed. Output values allow you to obtain information after resource provisioning, such as a public IP address, output a file of values for programmatic integration, cross-reference stacks via outputs in a state file via Terraform remote state. Uh, and so here's an example of an outputs um, uh, block. So notice that there's a block and you specify some stuff there. You can optionally provide a description. It's not necessary, but generally with outputs, I would recommend putting that in there. You can also mark it as sensitive so it does not show in your uh, terminal. This is important if you're doing like logging stuff, you don't want to compromise those values there. But understand that um, output values, um, even though they might not be outputted to your terminal or SD out, um, they will be visible within the state file. So if somebody opens up the state file, they're going to be plainly visible there. So just understand that sensitive does not protect the values there. Okay. Now, in terms of how we would use the CLI with the output values, uh, if we type Terraform output, it's just going to print out all the values that are within the state file. I don't show this in the example here, but if you wanted to use a, um, a like, bash command to uh, parse json you could extract them out and see they're just plainly in the json okay if you need to get exactly uh, a particular field you type in terraform output and then followed by the name if you wanted in a json format all the output then you could uh, give that flag i don't know if it would work with this one i actually didn't test it just thought about that here for this one here uh, if you want the raw output of it, meaning like if you output a string and you want it to be escaped or what have you, then you could use it pragmatically by passing it to something like curl to do something. But the idea with all these output values is that it's one way of inspecting, but you could also use this in a configuration script or, or something to do kind of like an after action, okay?